What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another episode of Old School Wednesdays. Today we're actually journeying to the Lego Adventures Dino Island sub-theme and taking a look at what may be the weirdest adventure set that's ever been made. It's the All-Terrain Trapper that's set 5955. It has 185 pieces, three minifigs, retailed for 30 US, and it came out in the year 2000. Now nowadays this set's going for about 88 new or 45 used. So we're gonna take a look at its positives and its negatives. Again, it's a very odd, interesting set. Not necessarily a bad thing, but we're gonna find out how different this one really is. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start off the review, we'll actually begin by taking a look at the box art. I was fortunate enough to be able to get this from the Bricklink seller. And what I really liked about it is it shows on the top, the Pacific Ocean, South America. It's getting into all these different locations that the adventurers travel because they're going all over the world. And I thought it was very appropriate, the fact that they had this on the box. Then you'll notice the box, it just shows all, you know, these guys all trapping the dinosaurs. On the side, it actually shows the car boat chasing a triceratops. And then just a little bit more view of the set, along with that same picture we just saw. And right here, again, just another view of the boat car. On the back, it actually gets into some of the alternate builds and a little bit of a storyline. So you can see that they're taking it apart right here because they need to get to the volcano. So they're, you know, getting into all these different little builds. I kind of like it when they incorporate these side builds or these alternate builds into the story. I They used to do that a lot in the late 90s and early 2000s. These builds don't look quite as good, I will say that, but it is an interesting concept. Let's now actually take a look at the set itself. And this set pretty well has three main builds that kind of make it up. So we're gonna actually take a look at the first one, the smallest of the three. And it's basically just a campsite. There's the little Tyrannosaurus Rex baby. Small body of water along with a couple plants. Love the little frying pan and the blue cup. And uh, yeah, actually let's give you guys a little bit closer view of the little baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very cool looking little mold. It's actually surprised Lego was actually able to make that back then. It is all one color though, unfortunately, but what do you expect? This is from the year 2000. Let's now take a look at the second build. And the second build might look quite plain, but it actually has a really cool play feature. And it has something to do with the net. I mean, this is called the all-terrain trapper for a reason. There's multiple traps in it. And right here you get a little crate, just so you guys know. Has some little tools in it. Nothing too crazy, but I thought I'd mention it. Now getting into this, basically what looks like, you know, just a plain build. Let's actually show off how this little play function sort of works. So say the dinosaur is walking up and he just happens to stumble on this plate. Well, okay, that was anticlimactic. You can get him caught, right? I mean, it took three times, but you have to actually really press on it. And I thought that was cool. If you're a kid, I could see yourself playing with it. Let's now take a look at the final build. And here it is, what quite possibly may be the weirdest build they've ever made, or weirdest vehicle, I should say, for the adventurer theme. It's just very, very odd. It's essentially a boat car. And as you can see, there's a little propeller at the bottom. You can spin it. It's just very weird, right? It's creative, I'll give it that. And what's nice about it too, is you can actually seat two mini figures. If you guys have bought any of the adventure sets, you'll know that you can seat you know, two mini figures, which is quite nice. And you also get an awesome looking Stegosaurus and you can swivel his tail. All the dinosaurs can kind of do that, but there isn't much more functionality with him. It's not like the dinosaurs that we've got, you know, in the last five, 10 years. Now how this play feature works, because this does have a play feature is 
This really reminded me basically a 1930s Jurassic Park. This car is driving up, or this boat car I should say, and let's say you hit him with, well let's just demonstrate, hit him, crap, okay, let's try that again, hit him, <laughs> and it way overshot it, let's try that once more, don't put as much force into it, but you get what I'm saying, it's actually a cool looking little play feature, so this actually just showed off from the side, I'm going to try and not hit it so hard, you get the idea. You might have to try doing this a couple times. That one's too slow. Ah, that was almost, but you get the point. So cool play fe feature. I mean, if you're a kid, you're gonna have fun with that. And how it basically works is you can, you know, see this, push this in, and it pushes that to the back, hitting this basically what looks to be sort of like a catapult. Overall, it probably has one of the best play features with an adventure set. It's just a very odd looking vehicle. Let's now take a look at the minifigures. And here's the three minifigures that are included in the set. So we get Alexis Sanister, Mr. Cunningham, and Baron Von Baron. And this is a nice looking selection of minifigures. This is actually the only set I believe that she's included with, Alexis. Could be wrong about that, but it's the first time I've actually ever had her and I have basically almost all the adventurer sets. Mr. Cunningham, I love the fact that he has a big gut, and you can't go wrong with Baron Von Baron. There's a reason why they haven't changed him for multiple sub-themes of the adventure theme, just because he looks great. I mean, he has that awesome looking hook, scar on his face, the monocle. He's a very classy looking bad guy, let's, uh, let's say that. Give you guys a back view of the minifigures. There is no back torso printing, back face printing, none of that. It did not exist in the 90s and early 2000s. There's not even any leg printing, but these minifigures are detailed enough, I'd say. They're the perfect mix of old and new. Old being the 80s minifigures, which were generally even simpler than these guys, but they're not quite as detailed as what we get nowadays. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Like we saw, this set is definitely very odd. Not necessarily bad, but the car is like, what is it? Is it a boat? Is it a car? I mean, it's obviously a mix of both. It has a cool feature on it though. I mean, you can shoot out that uh, net, which is kind of cool. Also the land, the one area, you know, this part of the uh, landscape, I guess, it also has a trap. So it definitely is a trapper set. You get two dinosaurs, three great minifigures. It's not my favorite adventure set, but I am happy that I own it. I do think it's worth the buy if you can get a deal on it. It just is strange. But let me know what you guys think about this one, if you like it, if you don't. Any areas you think they could maybe improve on it. The Dino Island was probably the weakest sub-theme out of the adventure line, but it was still pretty good. And this set's still decent, it's just weird. There's no other way to put it, but I still like it. And uh, I think it's a good addition to the Dino Island theme even though this vehicle by far is the weirdest vehicle they've ever made for it. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future old new sets we do. We do two of them probably every month and I really enjoy doing them, especially when you go back and you take a look at you know the older adventure theme, which is one of my old time favorites. It's just a lot of fun. But yeah, that's all I got for you again, but thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.